Seven days ago, I brewed a German steam beer, a damp beer. And I'd heard that this can be ready super quick. Using the Hefeweizen Ale yeast strain, this could be ready in maybe a week. So that's what I've been doing this week, is waiting for that beer to be ready and checking the gravity every day. And eventually, as of yesterday, day six, finally the gravity had stabilized at 1.009. At that point, I cold crashed and moved to a keg. So after just seven days, how has that beer turned out? Well, let's find out. Well, are you ready to try a seven day old beer? <laughs> I don't know that if I've, I don't know that I've ever drank a beer that's this young. Mm. So I was quite concerned that this was not gonna be carbonated enough. Right. That was not the case. Not the case at all. Uh, photogenically right now, they look gorgeous. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. Now in terms of the appearance, uh huh. This is not a wheat beer, even though it's using Hefeweizen yeast, but my goodness, it looks like one. It's so oh, cloudy. Yeah. And not not hazy, just cloudy. Cloudy. Yeah. And that is just uh, a product of how this was made so quickly mm -hmm. that um, I didn't use any finings. So I didn't use whirl flock, which I probably should have done. Um, and I didn't use gelatin or anything like that. Okay. Um, and there really wasn't time for any of the sort of after brewing kind of finings because this has only been cold for about half a day. So let's see if we get anything on the aroma. It, it's got, uh, uh, when I was pouring it, I could smell it and it smells wonderful. It yeah. really does. I'm getting a little hint of like a clove smell. Yeah, to um, me, this is classic wheat beer, Hefeweizen kind of clove, mm -hmm. clove for sure. Yep. Sometimes you get banana with Hefeweizen. True, cheers. Cheers. It tastes a lot like the way it smells. With regards to the mouthfeel, mm -hmm. I think it's quite a soft mouthfeel, yep. which I would associate with the presence of wheat mm -hmm. in the beer. There's mm -hmm. no wheat in this beer at all. There's no bitter at all. I don't know what the IBU would be on this, yeah. but I would think it'd be it's very, very low. Very low, yeah. very low goodness. Yeah. Your assessment of this, are you happy with it? Are you pleased with the way it turned out? My uh, concern with this was that we would try it after seven days and it would taste like it's not ready, like it would taste very green. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case, at not least at all. in my palate. This tastes a bit like a Hefeweizen. Yeah. Um, and exactly like a matured one as well. Right, right. right. And uh, it's, to me, it's very puzzling how it's turned out that way so quickly uh, when literally this beer was bubbling and fermenting 24 hours ago. Right, and and I just, on that on that second you know sip I just took, I got the banana that you mentioned. You got the banana? Oh yeah, I definitely yeah. got the banana you mentioned. It's a very drinkable beer. I'm glad that you um, invited me to be the, uh, to be the final leg in this uh, experiment you did, the seven day experiment you did. I've been watching the videos and enjoying them quite a bit. I'll tell you what, they're daily vlogging. Oh my goodness. Has it been, has it been a lot? It's a lot, it's uh, a lot. I had no idea. You see these YouTubers doing daily right. vlogging and stuff yeah. like that. Um, yeah. mm, good luck to them. Well, Norm, thank you very much. For, uh, my pleasure for, as always. Not only for coming along and doing the tasting, but for being willing to do so. For, <laughs> for a beer that is so young, so young, but I mean, it's kind of worked out. Yeah, congratulations, this, this turned out great. Well, cheers. Cheers to you.